In this video, I'll walk you through an introduction of what True Permissions for SharePoint is, its value proposition, and how it could truly give you a solid grip on SharePoint perm permissions in your SharePoint environment. The tool will help you better understand and explore permission landscape in SharePoint, audit permissions for a specific user, and generate fully detailed granular permission reports. It's often the case that SharePoint content and permissions are a big black hole to many SharePoint administrators. Yes, there are basic tools out of the box that allow you to explore permissions. However, those tasks become very complex very quickly as content and users grow. A tool like True Permissions Auditor can be just the right tool to keep under your belt for the life of your SharePoint environment to make permissions management so much easier. When you first open True Permissions Auditor for SharePoint, you will be asked to log in. You can log in using an on-premises environment or an Office 365 environment. You type in the URL, the login credentials, and after that, you're given three types of ways to explore permissions. Each one is represented here by the tab that you see above. The first one is a permissions browser. The second one is a user audit report, and then the unique permission report. The permissions browser is a fantastic place to start as it will launch your site and you'll be able to drill down from the site collection level down to the sites and subsites, down to the lists and down to the items and quickly see what has unique permissions throughout your site and you'll be able to explore each item, list, site and their permissions and you, the tool will highlight in red the items that have unique permissions so that you can quickly navigate your way into areas that need better more attention than others. We're going to explore this in just a moment. And then the second option here is a specific user audit report. This is a report that is very comprehensive, is generated, that will output an Excel file. It will list line item by line item all the access that a specific user has access to and specifically the effective permissions. We're gonna talk about that. So really this is designed to audit a specific user, say somebody who left the company. And then the unique permissions report is a comprehensive report at any level, either all objects or a specific area of your site that you want to audit. And again, this will be an Excel report generating every item, every list, every site with unique permissions and the access given to those objects. Okay, so we're going to explore the permissions browser. The permissions browser can be launched by clicking on the launch permissions browser. This will open up this window that you can drill down. You can see here your site and you can see here the site collection and you can drill down and see here under webs, you can see all the subsites underneath the site, and here you can see all the lists underneath that. So let's expand webs. Let's see what sites we have. And under here, you, you can see that we have a site. Now notice here, there's some items highlighted in red. That's probably an important thing here. This is showing items or sites that have unique permissions. Okay, so let's expand further into uh, this site. We have it called sites with broken inheritance and under that let's go ahead and expand some uh, you know let's view some lists and we can see here documents has unique permissions let's go in here to see what may be happening we see here even a folder has some unique permissions so let's see the contents there's 25 documents here let's see what's inside and let's see what may also have some unique permissions at the item level here so let's go ahead and click on that. And this loads the items in this view under the items tab, okay? Um, the other thing that it does is right when you click on documents, it's also showing here the permissions associated directly with that document library uh, as, you know, as it stands right now. So we can see here everyone has edit permissions and we can see also that Alpesh here has also edit permissions 
on the library. We can see here uh, documents, some documents, eight, nine, 11, all those are items that are inheriting the permissions of the parent. So they should have the same permissions. And we can know that by, if we click on permissions, now the permissions here for this very specific item is going to load on the right side. And you can see, yes, everyone in Outpatch do have edit permissions. We notice also that this line item, which is in red, along with 17 here, those have unique permissions. So let's see how different those permissions are and understand why those permissions may be different. Okay, so here we can see that uh, everyone no longer has access to that document. It's only Alpesh. Maybe this is a sensitive document. And then from doing that, you know, as you go through this process, you are evaluating and trying to really understand uh, how permissions and content uh, are laid out on your SharePoint site pretty quickly. You could really target and go down here to what's what's relevant and you can see what matters and make decisions based on that. The next thing that this uh, question that you may want to ask is, okay, well, let us, uh, you know, how do we know, uh, maybe we don't know what 10.txt is. We don't know the content to evaluate whether, yes, is it still a sensitive document? Should this really be a, a unique permissions? So what we can do is we have a few options to kind of start managing those things. So first thing we can do is we can double click on the document. So here I am double clicking and this will open. It just opened the document right here. So this is 10 txt and you can see here the content of the document there's not much in here but at least if it was a word document or an excel document it will load just like it would load in the browser um, and you could evaluate the contents of the document because obviously the content will help you understand and determine if indeed the permissions are set correctly or not right so understanding the content is going to help you understand the permissions that need to be uh, placed on that specific item. So now that we have taken a look at the content, the other thing we may want to do is begin to change the permissions on that document. So what we can do is we could right click and this will give us the option of going to the permissions page directly and this will open up a browser and this will go here and this is the standard SharePoint interface for managing permissions and you can see here this is what we saw earlier we can obviously uh, go ahead and delete the unique permissions because maybe that's what we determined is that we need to uh, no longer have this have unique permissions there is no need for that and now that it's back we can go back obviously to our um, list here and we can click on permissions again and notice now it's going to change from red to black, just like that. And this behavior of right clicking can also be done here to sites and document libraries and folders, right? So I can right click on my document library and I will see the option, you know, as I make changes, I could refresh to see the uh, updated documents. Maybe I had some changes here. Uh, my permissions changed so I could refresh. I can go navigate directly to the browser um, by browsing there. So this will open the location of that document library so I can see its content there and manage the items there. Maybe I want to delete content that I find as I go along. And of course, we have the option to open the permissions page in the browser for that specific document or folder or site. So in a nutshell, we saw how the permission browser can be an excellent tool to, in an ad hoc manner, navigate through your sites and through your documents and through your contents in SharePoint and quickly identify areas of interest, areas of unique permissions, quickly check what kind of permissions are on each one of those items or objects and navigating 
to the permissions pages to make any changes that you see along. And also from this, um, you may decide that you want a deeper audit of a specific area in your site and maybe you want to generate a report. A report is not generated through the browser. This is going to be done in the next um, segment here that we're going to cover. Okay, now let's take a look at the unique permissions report. Again, to summarize here, this is going to be a, an Excel report that's going to be generated, one file that shows you all the items, all the lists, and all the sites with unique permissions, and who has access to them. Okay, the controls that we have here, uh, we can pick the site collection. We can also pick a subsite of that site, site collection, or we could do a very deep dive from the site collection and recursively go down uh, into each subsite, into each list, in recursively, all the way to every item on your site collection, right? And to do that, you would select the all objects and sub objects. If you don't want to do that, if you want to audit maybe specific object or specific list, then you can click on show list and it will populate. So let's take a look. What I want to do here is I want to audit, audit a specific site. So I'm going to type in my specific site here. It's called site X and I can click on show lists. And what this will do is it will populate uh, all the lists that are available on that site. So I can select maybe a specific list that I want to take a look at. So let me pick documents. Okay, and I'm going to also um, make sure uh, that this is the location that I want to generate the report. And I'm going to then click on generate report. When I do that, what it will do is you see here at the bottom, it connected uh, to the site and here's showing me kind of that it's processing and what it's when it's done processing it's going to open uh, the Excel file itself or if it doesn't open that's not a problem you can always click on open report folder and that will take you to that location so opening the Excel file will show you this view and this view is pretty straightforward uh, here is the first column which is the URL. This is showing you the, the URL of the item that has a unique permissions and here we can see line item by line item. So for example line item number five we see here that uh, shared documents which is ent of entity type, entity type a list. Uh, the name of the entity is documents so that's the default documents library folder that we're auditing we, and we can see here the user group. We can see that this user has uh, edit and limited access on that um, shared document list. Uh, down here we can also see that there is a, a file called 17.txt. This one also has unique permissions. This is the URL to go to it and it's a list item and we can also see here that Alpesh has only edit access and you can go through this uh, and see in details recursively throughout your site all the items with unique permissions. Now imagine you did this on your whole site collection you would go and see a deep view of everything on your site collection and who has access to it.